what we're gonna get. Pee pee. Just dropped out of this strip again. Looks like it's on an empty point. This one had a big sign on it. It said hardware. This strip sounded awful a long time ago. So this is like digging in the dump, man. Mm -hmm. You know, you gotta be a little careful. Yeah, the broken one is like that. I was giving up with my dad.
Beautiful. I'm starting to recall the vents here. There's this wire that's pulling at, and it went down in there, but and then it just got stuck, and I couldn't pull on it anymore. And the reason why is because of this insect. I don't understand how we're ever going to get this out of here, though. Nothing, but then I, I know she's just like shards everywhere down here. Like, what's this? That may have been, uh, there are some long drip points. That may have been like a fang drip point 42. I don't know. But I've been just finding some fragments here. Let's see this. It's just a door There's something down there. But then I come over here and come back here. And, uh, you know, I see some more stuff. Just some fragments. But then look. Look at that. That's an old cork top bottle. Very unfortunately, though, it's, got cra it's cracked in half. Probably by rocks or something. Look at that thing. What was it? Special after you. After you. That thing is, it's a machine made, but it's still corked off. Let's see the rest of this. Special after you, something Thomas Edison Incorporated. Oh, so this is battery oil. That's cool. That's a shame. I'm gonna keep following this, maybe there's something else. Let's see here. And I did actually see a insider fragment here. Just a clear. And what's this? Some random bottle. I'm gonna get the gloves back. But yeah, I'll get back to you. What was that? I see another piece of little friend. Sneak by the poison right here. Actually, this is a 19. Like an, uh, an aqua. Hmm. Now look around here a little more. Get back to you. Well, I finally got this off. I came back and I was able to get it off. It's not perfect. It's got a couple of drip point chips. It's, it's drip points are kind of long. I don't think they're fang, fangs though, but still take it. You have a squeaky and it this, loosened up. Yeah, it, this place with the bell moves very hard. Yeah, it loosened up. And you got it all. There it is. You can see it. Oh yeah. A nice bell. Look at that thing. It's in good condition. There's no chips on it. Well, it's got well, it's got like a couple slight drip point chips, but that's not nothing. Look at that thing. See, you always try again after a while. Welcome to the roundup. Uh, I guess if you made it this far, just a little reminder, like and subscribe, hit the notification bell, all that. And we're gonna jump right in. So this is the uh, porcelain insulator found on the first day. It's actually in the same exact spot as the third day in our last video, where uh, like that pole in the swamp. The swamp was pretty dried up that day though. And it was a lot easier to get around. 
So, but we, we left this insulator there because we it just wouldn't come off. Uh, so we came back for it. Uh, you know, we made sure we, we got it. We got to run the saw with us and everything. And we, we saw it off and we, we got it. And it was probably only around halfway when we realized that this, this insulator has some rich, it's kind of dirt here like that. And it says PP Inc. 1950. That stands for Porcelain Products Incorporated 1950, which it's, it was, it was really cool when, when I first saw it. it was just, I just never really saw an insulator with like this sort of like blue, uh, print ink in it and uh yeah it was, it was on its cross arm for a little while but uh when the peg dried up and everything it just squeaked right off and uh yeah we got it off and on the on the second day we found well we actually found this type of insulator the first and second day but i'm just gonna include the one from the second day just one of these high vo high voltage high voltage uh, ceramic insulators here that are all on every pole. You know that every everyone we find is about the same except for like the the glaze imperfections and stuff. And yeah, this one this one has you know has some imperfections. It's a little lighter there, a little darker there, some kind of weird stuff going on in there. And they all have a triple petticoat. I really I really like the triple petticoat they have. You don't. I don't usually find many triple petticoat insulators. This one was on its, it was like on its pin. I found it at a down pole that didn't have anything else except its cross arm on the ground with its pin. And it was a spinner. I guess that's why it was still left there because everything else was stripped. And we, and we eventually got it off its pin and we have it here now. Okay. Last and probably the best find is this, is is this uh, Hemingway 40 CD150 insulator. We call them bells, as you probably heard. And I, I didn't really put any clarification saying it was CD152. I'm sure you probably know that if you follow enough my, my videos or really any insulator videos. Um, but it it's it's not really it's is a pretty it's a pretty ordinary one. It's got it's it's in pretty good condition. It's just got a couple of flea bites there. Uh, it's it's got bubbles and stuff. Nice cold pour on top. It's kind of like a, I guess like an aqua color, in real life. And it was it was it was actually uh, picked off by Squeaky on the third on the third day. It was kind of I guess it's more like a bonus shot, a bo bonus video, little video at the end. And it was, it was on the same pole we were at like a long time ago. We were just, we just did a, did a, did a run on it with Squeaky a long time ago. And we came back and we got it. We, we did it with Squeaky and it came off. It was kind of unexpected, but it, it came off. It just, I just was, was do was going at it. And I know this isn't recorded, but I was just going at it. And I just couldn't believe when it started spinning. Just did another little, I guess that just shows that if you wait long enough, something might change. Yeah. Well, that's, I guess that's the end of the video. So hope you enjoyed and see you next time. Don't worry. Next time, this is going to be a lot bigger roundup, I think. So see ya.